especially if he's going to have assistance like Dubu nearby too. But he oh, is going to. Benja is going for this rune. Okay, we are going to see a little bit of breakout. Mason is going to be able to swoop in and grab up the bounty, but Stinger wants a piece of the action here. Him and Valkyria getting up the stacks right now. Dropping the Sentry Ward too. They're just looking to run down Dubu a bit. He'll have another roll, roll right up. now. Gets it on, and it looks like this will be your first blood. And it's going to be Stinger who picks it up. They may lose their own life for it, though. Valkyria runs within the trees. That is going to be the first takedown. And now Valkyria will be next. So, I don't know. You do get first blood, but uh, losing two kills now makes it yeah, hard to say that's, worth. That's when you all chat worth right there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, how much worth it is, but, hey, you know, infam Infamous sticking to their play style here. Aggressive as ever, as we come to expect. But they will rotate down now Stinger to the bottom lane. So let's see how much pressure they're going to be able to get on. The gets the bash. Of course he gets the bash. You know that's how it works. And now he's just like, I guess I'll just go for the deny and gets it because those creeps are just like on roids. Seriously, though. All right. Well, at the end of the day, Demon still manages to hit level two, and I guess even with the nerf to neutral kills, oh, charging on mid, yep. Killer Queen. Already, uh, Mineski Fange does the light softening up here, and okay, gets a couple of raises, but it's not going to stop the charge in, and that's going to lead to the takedown. This is what we expected to see, just even based on the draft, and that's going to be the first bring down. Like, how much? How significant is that now? Can he get not killed on his team? And Shadow Queen <laughs> might be next on that menu. And Earth Spirit's going to grab bounty rooms. Well, that happens, and he's getting rich. Shadow Fiend's going to get a bit poorer. He gets jumped by three and just totally getting banged in the mid lane. Just hard to watch as it is. Another takedown for them. And in the meantime, Dubu's even going to get a nice, nice ward dropped here in the top lane, too. On his rotating position than the Earth Spirit is on that rotating position. And. The draft is definitely a bit to blame. I guess they're putting more focus on Witch Doctor being able to get his levels rather than having to protect the Shadow Fiend. And the Earth Spirit's kind of on protection duty while Dubu finds Batrider in the top lane. Yep, gives him a facial of a magic missile. Then Demon's there to follow up, but he does get jumped from the boulder smash. Valkyria looking to turn things over and go on to Dubu. Needs another right click, should be able to get it. Gets it done on the other side. Stinger still making chase for Demon. Needs five seconds before the roll, but he's got the speed. And the Orb of Venom should slow him down a bit. Up and above, oh, we nice see the takedown. Deny. Nice deny of that bear indeed. Does not allow him to take the free 300 gold. Mid lane, and Demon, though. yeah, he's still trying to chase away, but this could lead to a kill of Shadow Fiend, which is even nicer Dyer's for him. Okay, well, he's, okay. Wait for him to cross the other side. Sees he's not there, goes for the raise, and gets the takedown. All right, a couple of kills, though, stringing back the way of Infamous. After being taken down twice, Shadow Fiend gets a kill himself. Helps the recovery a bit, but... You know, the wound is still bleeding a little bit from the early game. It is, but not nearly. Sidestep the trouble. Aggression. Oh, might find a courier, find a Shadow Fiend. They found a Shadow Fiend. Demon's there too. They sandwich him on in. Coconut flies out. It's going to help him. Bounces between them and Demon. Demon eats the raise, but now he's out of mana and he's just trying to run away. They go for their shrine. They'll get it. Turns back, goes for the raise on one, and they quickly split apart. Demon, nice little salve. Helps him recover quite a bit, and now he's got to get away. Does have charge if necessary, but he's looking for a target. Can't find it in time, and they end up bringing him down. Very long-winded engagement here in the river. While this happens, as Mason's able to free farm the top lane, he's actually almost oh, got the tier one down. Courier on the other side going to be going down from the side of Radiant as it's still flea, bugging about inside the infamous lines here. And they'll be rewarded for it. And they find Valkyria now. Fireflies up, though. Oh boy, the but bugs just... though, the bugs, the bugs! He'll be able to make it away, but almost cost that, him his life, man. That was a really good flame break. He managed to push out the Weaver so Shikuchi damage didn't take place, although Benjaz in the bot lane... It just doesn't stop here, man. Onyx are just all in on every lane wanted. right now. This is what I wanted. Charge here we in. go. go. Boom! Easy just kiss on the nose and it's over for little Benjaz. And Onyx are on the up and up. Feels like they're for much further ahead than they actually are. It's only five to four. Just a very back and forth, I guess, as far as this is line up because Batrider, while great against those carries, I think Lone Druid may be a little bit of an exception. While Savage Horde kind of helps out the Lasso combo by speeding out. Oh, never mind, top lane. Yeah, Good it was uh, easily set up there. Batrider slowly stalking him down with the rotation coming in from the Earth Spirit. Only a matter of time before they got the catch. I mean, Lone Druid's like, I'm sorry, but I got a jungle to farm right now. Enough. Rolling Boulder going to get connection here. There goes the Savage War. 
Mason trying to run into a new route. Demon helps him out a bit, gets the bump on the Valkyria, and they'll just turn onto the Spirit Breaker instead. Not the more prized target, but they'll take what they can. And take the... Now they'll turn into a Tier 1 push. Oh, oh Dubu. Oh. Kick. They're going to go all no the way mana. in for him. Yeah, he's reserving the kick for now as he has light on mana, and they'll be able to get the finish there. But let's see if Onyx goes for a fight back now. Flea shows up, dishes out the swarm. A lot of damage onto the bear, though, at risk of losing and gaining that money over to Benjaz. Demon, in the meantime, going to get the charge on in. Looking to go for the Shadow Fiend. They will get the takedown. Him and Flea will be able to bring down that guy, but it looks like Mason up in arms. Savage Roar keeps him off. Valkyria to the high ground, but Demon looking to make chase here. Oh, nice flame break. Bumps Beeman back down and below, but he is still not safe. Tries to go for the admirable TP. We'll be able to make it out in the meantime. Dubu gets the takedown as Stinger was trying to make it back inside the base. Still not even level six yet. Wow, that was an awkward roll in, but they'll get close enough for the bomb, but a quick repel will help them shrug it off. They'll put onto the next target, which is going to be Dubu, then followed with the lasso. There's going to be the swap save. They go for the grip, the silence, the lockdown. Can Minus get it off the time lapse? No! Not going to be able to get it off in time. Stinger, though, going to get hit up on the other side from Demon, and he'll end up going down, not before the magnetize does come off. Love yourself, going to be able to make it back and away, but. Demon is the one putting in the work right now. Double kill, and then a hammer comes in, and they'll get the finish on the Vakilier, making a triple kill for Demon as they clear out the rest. A full five-man wipe on the side of Infamous suddenly as Onyx get the better of the trade. Because, I mean, Shadow Demon, I mean, sorry, Spirit Breaker is pretty good against Shadow Blade, mm -hmm. and you may be able to use it aggressively, but Infamous is not in a position to do anything aggressive, as we can see Batrider getting obliterated by four Onyx heroes. Yeah, it's a, unfortunately for them, maybe just don't find him a threat whatsoever. Man, lots of damage comes out from Killer Queen onto Demon, but not able to get the finish. A swap back save as they roll on forward. Stinger could get a beautiful magnetized setup. Dishes it out now. Better late than never. A lot of damage onto Mason, but there goes the Guardian Angel and the heal. They're doing everything they can to get the save onto him, and he'll be able to TP away to safety. Not so lucky here for the Omni Knight. They will get the lasso pullback. Dubu will be going down, and so will the Omni Knight. The first real promising trade for Infamous, it feels like, this game. As they scrappily take down what they can. Still, though, Mason will be able to make it away. Which is the biggest and prized target, but... May have been a little bit overzealous for Demon to charge in with like a hundred. Mason down. before him. Aegis is gone now. He's not with his team. I mean, close by. Flying in his bat with the blink, with the bomb. Dubu, one more click. They'll get the finish there with that bomb pickup, and they may be able to go for the bear as well. And I, they actually stopped their chase at that point. So, I mean, it's just Dubu going down, and Onyx will just reset from that lane push. It's not too shabby, but that was the Blink Dagger reveal of the Batrider, and they yeah. didn't even really use the Batrider, so yeah. they'll take what they can get. And if Lone Druid manages to not get swapped or Guardian Angel or anything else, then sure, go for the Scotty. Uh-oh. They're racing towards Ben Jazz. Demon gets the spot, the eye on him, the charge, and he can't even react before going down, and just as fast, Valkyria jumps in. He also going to get dropped. Both of them out, 45 seconds without a buyback. And just like that, here comes Team Onyx down this mid lane. How unfortunate, as now this is going to cost Infamous a little bit. I don't think they're going to have much to react to without those two available to them. But Killer Queen will move in, dishes out a couple of raises. They try to roar him back, but they're already going to work here. Mason with that DD rune just chunking away at that Tier 3. Now they're going to get the move in. Stinger trying to jump in, dishing out the Magnetize, trying to roll out, but not going to be had. Hope as well. Can't get a whole lot going with the help of that Death Ward. It looks like Onyx are going to be able to shrug that one off. They still have Guardian Angel available to them. And now Killer Queen looking to make his move in as he steps in, getting it charged up, getting a hit with the dust. Right click's coming out from Mason. It's going to be Flea taking down the Witch Doctor at that moment. Ben Bat Jazz is back Bat now, and so is the Bat Rider, but the Tier 3 is already down. And that's out. I mean, that's what Spirit Breakers do. They cause chaos. He'll, he'll go charging in, and Infamous are going to be the team forced to react. First Savage Roar out. This bear, the first bear could be going down. It looks like it's going to get dropped. The next takedown. Could be set here. It's going to be Flea uh, taken out of the game. He can't even get off his time lapse. And now it's going to be Infamous on the run. Going for pickoffs. They'll get Dubu too. Mason looking to turn and fight. Puts his focus onto Valkyria. And now has to split it between him and Stinger. Jump out from Benjaz. Death Ward going to be out. The Guardian Angel going to be triggered here from the Omni Knight. 
He's shrugging it off though with the repel. Mason can still fight and there's not enough firepower coming up from Infamous on this one. But Benjaz says he's got enough. He is going to finally be able to break through and take that Aegis down. Look what's waiting. A Requiem right at the end of it. Beautifully done there from Kotaro. And they will quickly get the better end of this fight and look to go for the five-man wipe. Demon's going to be the fourth one to be dropped. And now... Here's the Omni Knight trying to desperately blink back it away, but it's looking like Infamous certainly did hold. And they're not done yet. Right clicks to come out. He turns back, goes for the heal, trying to at least get the Bat Rider takedown, but it's not going to be had. Tsunami, a full five-man wipe on the side of Onyx. Infamous hold their mid lane. All right. All right. Part of me is wondering if Omni Knight thought that Weaver had the Aegis. Net worth advantage for Onyx, now just a 5k here. But charge in from Onyx now, looking to take the lead right back. The first sight is going to be onto this Bat Rider. Look at him up and back. He does hold that gem. If they can get a hold of it, that would be sweet, and they're going to be able to do so. Infamous scrambling, trying to get back inside. A zoning Boulder Smash will help keep them at bay. But, you know, that was the gem. That was Infamous like, okay, we defended. We can go back out and take back the map take back map control yeah not any longer tsunami onyx have already taken that gem and looking to take the map control right back look at that catch out swap they're gonna be grabbing kataro pulling it right back within the team stinger looking to roll in and help out hits up with a good magnetize ben jazz though steps in to help and interfere finds himself in a bit of trouble scrambling to get back inside they slow him down and the range coming out from mason is going to be good enough to bring him down he has a buyback and may be forced to use it because the from behind there's stinger Hi. And he gets a quick Bye. blink and a quick roll away. See you later. All right, nice quick reaction, but uh-oh, Kataro's left behind. There's going to be the jump and there's going to be the pop coming out with the help of the Bat Rider, but the Bat Rider's going to get quickly focused. Requiem going to be unleashed here, and so are the right clicks, but no one from Onyx going to be going down. The Guardian's already going to be out, and they just shrug off any opposing will coming out from Infamous, but now the Omni Knight going to get turned around on. Benjaz and Kataro going right back into Onyx here, and they are able to muscle past them. What a quick, dramatic turnaround. Mason just gets shredded apart. What? What? How? What? For an MKB, so you'd think he'd be able to go one-to-one -one with him. Uh -oh. Evidently not. Demon thinks about charging in. There's going to be the quick swap going for the Shadow Fiend here, getting hit from Mason on the high ground, able to still walk away, still able to be a tank, while Ben Jazz moves in, gets the finish onto Dubu. They will lose their Bat Rider, and then Demon gets the Nether Strike finish onto the Shadow Fiend. Back the way of Onyx onto this fight, it looks like here. The support's trying to fend them off. Stinger will be able to make it back in a way. Hope, not so fortunate. Clinging onto that gem, not going to be holded here. Mason takes a triple kill for himself. This doesn't really change the heroes, but there are so many little changes that I see after each of these games. Yeah, it's still ever-evolving meta. Here we go. What could be the quick last fight here coming up from Infamous as we finally get back and underway. A commitment's going to be made with the last of pullback. They're doing this without their life stealer. Doing it without Ben Jazz. Can Kataro be the one man to hold it up right now? He so it's breaking point for Infamous, but now Infamous will have all five at the ready here. So we'll see if it's going to be do or die form or not. Who Flea is still inside the base what? here. He's just, you know, the stand, the stand in. So he's playing his own game, trying to see if he can soften up that tower as much as possible. I will walk into their fountain. I'll walk into their fountain if he disconnects one more time. God help me. Here we go. Infamous, though. Curious if it's more do or die or not. The Roche is up, and just them being near the pit prompts the buyback now. Ooh, Killer Queen going in on Mason. Yeah, the, a swap back will be there. Jump in. Bat Rider looking to make chase, looking to get that grab, and gets the kill takedown of Mason with assistance from Kataro. But Onyx still looking to fight. Demon charges right on in on the action. Now gets bumped back, and they'll take that finish too. They could just go back in for the Roche now, and they'll do could so. They? Francis Lee scurrying towards. They're going in for the jugular, knowing that this might be all they got. Mason was briefly pushing out inside the base, but now there's going to be the swap back here. Looking to go for Katara. They're going to hit him up with the heel, tries to turn in fight. Now eats the cheese to stay alive. Stinger moves in, dishes out the magnetize, and that's going to prop the Guardian Angel. Helps to keep Fleeing Company alive as they push on forward. Bat Rider's going to be the first going down, and now they scurry all the way towards Kataro and will be able to get him finished. He's out for good, no buyback there, and the follow-up takedown will be there onto Benjaz, and they will call the game. Onyx have to work really long and hard to be able to get the finish onto this one, but they will finally do it, but not before Benjaz has a final say, but it's over. It is over. Onyx will finally take it.